friends and welcome to our mini series called Homemade Parade with Recreate Ireland and Dublin City Council. My name is Jo and you are joining me here in the creative shed. Welcome one and all. In these videos I will share with you some starting points and ideas on how to make your very own festive homemade parade. There are three videos in this mini series, each concentrating on a separate element to create a parade. From festive props to something that you can display in a window for everybody to enjoy. In this video, we will be taking a peek into making something that you can wear. And may I say, you wear it well. I will invite you to have a look around where you live and collect materials. Maybe you turn this into a game, like a treasure hunt. These materials might be rescued from the recycling bin or it might be something found that really inspires you. Some things which I find useful and great to work with are card, paper, sticks, scissors, glue and tape. Once you have a few bits collected, maybe you want to extend the invitation to make something creative with the people around you. This video will be in two little sections. The first will be around starting ideas for something to wear on your head. And the second half we will look at accessories and costumes. We have a lot of fun stuff to do, so let's get going. Okay, so now I am sitting comfortably and I hope you are too. Let's get started on making something that we can wear on our heads. Now, when I'm building things to wear and I love wearing hats and I love wearing things on my head and making masks and doing all of that kind of thing, I always find it's good to start with a base. So you may have some cardboard, uh, a bit like this cardboard. You might have some cardboard or you might have um, uh, some nice shiny card like this. Um, and what I would do is I would start with a band. So popping it around your head to get the measure of it like that and then taping it. Now, while I've been doing these videos, have you been thinking about what you might want to be? Might you want to be a saint or might you want to be a scholar? Or maybe you have a spirit animal or maybe you're inspired by fairy stories or uh, there's a character in a book that you really like that you would like to uh, make something to wear on your head. Or maybe you are inspired by the world around you and now that the seasons are getting, coming in, now spring is coming into us, beautiful, um, it might, maybe you want to make something around that. What about decorating it? You could, I cut this piece of card um, to make the body of uh, a snake. Maybe you want to make a snake. And then I kind of thought that it worked quite well like so. And maybe I want to build something that's like that and build on top of it. Now, I love springtime and I love nature. Um, so I was also thinking that potentially you could cut out the shapes out of card, maybe some big giant leaves, or maybe this is a big giant leaf, or maybe it's a big giant shamrock. So maybe I could do that quickly. Um, and maybe build a snake as well. Um, so I am gonna, I quite like the idea of the crown though, um, but maybe it's gonna be a little bit of an abstract, so it might not necessarily look like a shamrock, um, but maybe it's uh, some shapes that have been added uh, onto it. So very quickly, I've just cut, folded it in half, which is like my favorite thing to do. And then I'm just gonna do the ones down the side. So maybe they look like, maybe the stem is the bit that sticks onto the front of the crown. Even cutting and drawing um, uh, out shapes like this can give you inspiration. So for example, you might think, oh, I'm gonna do, I don't know, like a shamrock like I'm doing here. And then you might look at it and go, actually, I've got a much better idea. So that you could even have loads of them stuck to it, make it really high, really ornate. But I quite like the shape of that and that it's just kind of a nod to a shamrock. Um, now I find myself, I go out and play quite a lot. Um, um, and by play, I mean play with materials. And I was messing around the other day and I had some of this silver foil stuff. Um, and it was folded in half, so it's like a bubble wrap. 
but I couldn't help put it on my head, as you do, like so. So you might have, I don't know, an envelope that you could draw on, or maybe uh, maybe you have some foil like this. Um, and it's now this is giant, but, and I know I look silly, but that's the point of it, right? It's to play and have a bit of fun and not care about what anybody else thinks. But I couldn't help but think that thought that looked, looked like a very over-exaggerated uh, uh, St. Patrick's uh, hat that uh, he might have worn. <laughs> and then I also, once I did that, so I, you would need to peg it or fasten it at the back. Um, but this is just for ideas for you, starting points. But then I had a smaller version, so I just folded it over here and it's got like a bit of a tail on it. And I thought this could almost be like a cross between a superhero cape. I can't hear a thing in here. A superhero cape at the back. But maybe again, looking a bit kind of, you know, like St. Patrick himself. And maybe you start with, like I said, the envelope and then build onto it or draw onto it or cut out lots of snakes to stick onto the front of it or something along those lines. There's a few little ideas for you there. I am going to clear all of this away, gather some more little inspiring materials, uh, gathering some more inspiring materials for us to use um, and have a little interlude. So press pause, go make yourself a cup of tea and we'll be back in a second. Be with you in a minute. Okay, so I had a little play in that little micro interlude that we just had there and started using the scraps from the item that I was cutting out before and couldn't help but add to the band I'd created. Now, if you could imagine this, like either painted in a fun color, like maybe pinks or greens or yellows or something very bright, um, or maybe in, yeah, in green, 
um, and then popping that on. It was so simply done. I just used a little stapler just to hold the bits on and that is literally all of the scraps there. But it looks like it's like an exploding shamrock, doesn't it? I kind of think so anyway. Um, so then I was thinking about other things that could be worn on your head um, and then found this cardboard bowl while I was looking for inspiration through my recycling bin. And you could actually use this as a hat, a little one to add and build onto. So the moral of the story is you start with something to build, whether it be a bag or a bowl or something like that. Now, for making an actual costume part, um, I absolutely love cardboard and I have collected a few different, and paper. Um, so this is a piece of packaging, which um, I think is absolutely amazing. It's a tube that you can put your arm in, your sleeve in, and almost um, looks like a sleeve, but it almost is like, has this like bird-like quality to it. So you could make a roll with a piece of paper um, and maybe put your little, a little hand in so you can get a hand out there. So maybe it sits along the arm here and then your arm is out so you can still use your hands and stuff like that. Or maybe you use something like sticking it to uh, a panel of cardboard which you might have uh, attached to your front, almost like if you um, uh, a tabard or something like that. So it might be a, a long rectangle which is supposed to go from here around to the back the same length but you cut a hole in the middle that you can then pop your head through or you could start using maybe a big bin liner or something like that if you have that you could then build onto so you've got your framework started. Also here it is again if you've seen the other videos you'll be familiar with the uh, classic t-shirt. You might have if you were making a banner you might have got inspired and loved the t-shirt design so much that you might end up wearing a t-shirt and you can glue and apply stuff onto a t-shirt as well for creating a costume or item um, and you could also cut it and tie it and giving it a different dimension um, and upcycling and repurposing which I love um, so you could if you had shapes for example um, I have like little bits of tin foil you could stick tin foil over it to create like scales or something and then make a snake's head from your cardboard band think about how a snake is constructed so potentially um, a snake might look like I'm um, just trying to hang my great on the floor uh, so a snake might come round like this do you know what I mean maybe if you imagine maybe this is your snake the start of your snake and you build that onto a band you've got your two eyes there Maybe you build another bit underneath, so you're looking out its mouth, and then obviously a snake. I hope you're using your best, best imaginative skills for this, because I don't know what this looks like. <laughs> so you paint it green, obviously. Eyes, don't forget your nose, uh, holes, your nostril holes, and then a tongue. Um, so that's two ways of doing it, the head and the costume to make a snake. And then I had these, found these amazing pieces of cardboard, which I love. I love the texture of it and I love the look of the side of it as well. And it also makes some sound. Now I was thinking these two lovely bits of card, what could they be? Uh, once again, I was thinking about wings. So maybe you build something like this, so it, it's coming off of your shoulder, maybe you take them together and you build something. Uh, maybe you could have, um, make holes along with ribbon coming down, or maybe there's other stuff that you might have uh, that you could make, so it's very, very feathery. Or maybe you use something like my green background that I have here and thread through and stick bits of paper on, um, or I was thinking, so you could have your, you could use it as horizontal uh, inspiration, or you could use it as a portrait, so, um, or vertical. So you could build something maybe, uh, maybe using your t-shirt again, maybe you do something that's coming up over your head and quite large, like so. Um, uh, I don't even know what you could do, but once you start building it on, you're like, oh, that could be that, or this could be something else. Uh, but once again, you might want to use, instead of using the card as a band around your head, you use it around your body. Uh, make two holes in the back so you can put something through to tie it. Um, so yeah, so this, I don't know, this is kind of like, I'm like, oh, this is very intriguing, this kind of way of having something going up and being quite large. Maybe you make a person um, or, uh, yeah, something very sculptural, um, but that is uh, using that as a starting point. 
I love kind of having these open-ended where I haven't quite got the idea sorted in my head because I bet you I'm going to be thinking about this now for a few weeks <laughs> and I'll maybe come up with something as well which I will share with you if I do. Okay, so very short video on making something to wear, a few starting points there for you to run with and use those ideas and create something unique and beautiful of your very, very own. I would like to take this little opportunity to say a big thank you um, from and to uh, Dublin City Council and Recreate Ireland. And thank you for joining me, Joe, in the Creative Shed for Homemade Parade. And we look forward to interacting and for you, to share, for you sharing ideas of what you have created. Take care and happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. <laughs>